South by Southwest is actually a you know 10 day event uh, that has technology, film, and music all combined in one. And I think every year we draw about 100,000 people just coming in town. For us, you know, KUKA obviously as a robotics company automation, this is not a typical venue that we come to. Um, however, there's a lot of leading technology companies in the space showcasing the newest and greatest technologies. And also now we're in Austin, uh, we want to continue to build our brand and awareness within our community as well. You probably saw the demo behind me. Uh, we're actually using the KR Agilis to do a water bottle flipping demo. You know, for South By, we're trying to introduce automation to our community. We're trying to introduce robotics to the people all around us. So how do we relate to that? Um, so we you know, decided to do something a little bit funky, a little bit different, uh, but actually shows the high precision and accuracy and speed of our KR Agilis is just in a completely different way. Yeah, so we're here, we had a great panel uh, discussing the future of robotics from ethics issues to where are we going with technology. It was a combination of KUKA, represented by me, plus Robin from A&M, who's got a 25, 30 year history in autonomous vehicles, and Scott, who has a deep expertise in artificial intelligence and a great love of deep learning. I've been doing rescue robotics since 1995, and with the very first use in 2001, which was the World Trade Center, and the one thing that we've learned over and over, it's not the robots, it's the data. It's how people use the data, how they get the data. A big example is these small unmanned aerial vehicles. Such an amazing game changer for flooding, for damage inspection, hurricanes. So you can fly one of these small little UAVs that you get off Amazon, and at the end of half a day of flights, you've got close to a terabyte of data, of imagery. So we have huge data sets, big data problem of which we must use AI. There's just not practical for a human to do it. And then you start getting into the, oh, you haven't lived till you try to get a terabyte of data up into the cloud using your cell coverage during a flood. So if you look at what you want to do in artificial intelligence with robotics, First and foremost, you have to have a robot that's collecting the right information. So I need vision sensors, I need to be checking motor temperatures, I need to be looking at and instrumenting the entire robot. That gives me my core data. Once I have that data, I need to get it up into the cloud so I can run those fancy algorithms on it. And to do that, we need secure, reliable connections from the robot to an edge and then up into the cloud. I want to be able to have a robot with a camera, watch me do something a few times, then have this huge library where it's watched a bunch of other people do something similar a few times and then infer, ah, this is how I, the robot, goes from here to here to pick up something. It seems very basic to us as humans, but to instill that behavior in a robot requires this huge connected system from robot to cloud to AI. To do robotics, especially on, on its scale with something like deep learning, we need a lot of data. And so if we have access to the cloud and we have lots of homogenous or, or heterogeneous robots running around in the world, we can take all that data and combine it, unlike humans. You know, every human has to learn how to do things from scratch, essentially. All robots can share their data. And once we have that data about how things look, how they feel, how they sound, how they respond to various actions the robots can take, we can draw upon that experience so that robots can use that to plan or to learn new tasks and new environments very, very quickly. And really, that is the nut of what we're trying to crack with technology which is make it easy to make your robot do what you want. Yeah, so KUKA Connect is a all new cloud-based software platform that enables an end user to have access to their robot data anywhere, anytime, on any device. So you could do condition monitoring, asset information management, uh, and it's overall, it's a platform that KUKA is gonna continue to build on top of uh, for the next few decades. We're going to have condition monitoring, making sure your robots operate as intended, predicting maintenance, predicting when the robots need maintenance, when they need servicing, and then starting to do more interesting things like pushing down optimizations to the robot, pushing down like vision systems, recognition systems, path planning um, onto the robot to make it more useful. And the nice thing is once all these robots are connected, we can start optimizing across the whole set of robots. So if you have a large factory of thousands of robots, 
uh, we can start giving you higher level information like which robots are used when, which robots might be more efficiently used uh, if you change the scheduling of your, of your line. There's lots of information there that we can, we can mine um, using data analysis techniques to find opportunities for more efficiencies and cost savings. Software is reinventing the hardware. Yes, we're going to continue to push introducing new electronics, new mechanical systems, but software now introduces a different element for the hardware and really bring it to a different spectrum. We hope to continue to do that with our robotic system, starting with KUKA Connect. So we're very excited to see that continue to grow. Orange Intelligence.